I mentioned it in my previous video about voting for which line I play next that the naval changes lately haven't made for a very enjoyable gameplay experience and has caused some players to drop the mode until further changes are made or at least until the bugs get ironed out. While I hope Gaijin has been keeping tabs on the feedback, the upcoming edition of late World War II ships makes me lean towards them only trying to bait players in with new shiny ships rather than fixing issues with the naval mode overall or introducing a proper tutorial. Massively changing the mode every handful of months certainly doesn't help people who have learned or enjoyed the current system and really harms player retention if they don't wish to relearn an entire game mode. And currently I see a few issues that face naval and they're issues that are disliked by the majority of players or significantly hinder the gameplay, though I do want to touch on one good change first. Shell velocities were updated to properly take in drag, which made most guns overall have higher gun arcs, longer shell travel times, and reduce their effect on many targets at long range. I found this to be a good change to encourage more brawling battles, which can be a lot more fun and much more engaging than sitting at long range and sniping while you camp behind an island. I figured this would also benefit up-tiered cruiser players as they would actually have a front line of battleships to stay behind and support while the larger warships duked it out. Sadly, with the rest of the Hornet Sting's changes, this wasn't to be the case. But hopefully the devs can course correct since they seem to be giving naval a lot of new ships in the upcoming update. For the majority of Hornet Sting's update period, Naval has had major bugs. Some of these were fairly minor, others affected gameplay, and some broke the game mode completely. And I think more of this patch's time was hindered by noticeable bugs versus a mostly bug-free experience. Just as a few examples of each, for the minor bugs we had any aircraft use completely bugging out your camera view, uh, not being able to select targets after a respawn, and ship positions not matching between your gunner and ship views, causing the models to snap back and forth and making aiming really wonky. For gameplay breaking or affecting bugs, we had the inability to shoot over islands in arcade, which I had touched on before, the typical server packet loss and crashes, the dispersion bug while turning your ship that is currently ongoing, and some ships missing key components or armor schemes. And of course, last but not least, the new arcade aiming system not hitting really where you're aiming at. Speaking of which, when this was first announced, I figured it would turn arcade into a point and click adventure that doesn't prepare you at all for realistic mode. I was partially right, mostly on the side of it not preparing players for a realistic aiming system. While it does make the mode very point and click, especially for coastal from what I hear, the system fails to give any information on what the enemy ship is currently doing and is absolutely terrible for hitting most ships during a turn. With the old system you had a lot of information on why your shells missed, as the aiming indicator would show that the enemy ship had slowed down or started a turn. With the new system you have none of that information to show you why you missed unless you can visually confirm via a change in the enemy ship. But it does make it fairly simple to dodge enemy fire via just changing speed. The aiming system itself is also very buggy to the point where you can predict how the system will miss the spot that you are aiming for. It will constantly overlead targets in their direction of travel, a faster target overleading even more, to the point that you will hit the enemy ship's bow tip if you are aiming for the forward turrets. You can correct for this by aiming further back, but it's not how the system is supposed to work. The system will also undershoot your targets without any reason that I have found so far, making it frustrating for ships with very long reloads. The last thing I want to touch on with this is that the aiming system is very server dependent. This means that any packet loss or lag will cause it to miss wildly, even if your aim was perfect or your connection was perfect. It is just solely dependent on what Gaijin servers are doing that day. 
The point and click nature of this, however, does cause another addition to be brutally devastating though, which leads me into that topic. Fires can now spread from turrets and ammo elevators down into your magazines, causing your ship to completely detonate. Especially with ships that have short ammo elevators, these fires can detonate you quicker than the voice lines about ammo fires can even play. This is especially problematic when the fire extinguishing takes 14 seconds on average to put the fire out. In short, you have a massively damaging system added with no counterplay or updates to the current damage control abilities. Coupled with the arcade aiming, making aiming for turrets fairly easy, this makes some ships brutally painful to play and has led many battleship players to just camp in the back of the map so they don't get shot. I mostly blame the camping on this change as with the shell velocity changes we should have people brawling, but the risk of a fire is so great that it doesn't make close range fights worth it. They could easily add countermeasures to fix this such as fire extinguishing action slowing down or stopping the spread of the fire while it is active, or adding in the option to emergency flood the affected magazines in order to keep your ship fighting even if the option is completely automated by your fire extinguishing unit. The most annoying part of these fires though are when they are caused by my next topic. When they first said that they were increasing the threat that bots pose while also boosting their rewards to player ship levels, I thought this was a great thing. No more low tier ships in top tier matches that affect objectives, but don't give great rewards overall. But now that we are almost to the next major patch, I can admit that their current implementation has a lot of issues. As far as their targeting, they will constantly focus down random ships and cause an endless loop of fires, damage, and flooding. Even sinking them won't stop this as after respawning they will immediately lock the same player if they are visible and start the process all over again. This can be compounded if multiple bot ships are focusing the same target. This is further multiplied by their artificially increased shell velocity. In many cases you can visually see them having a shorter shell arc, or watch an incoming shell hit your ship almost parallel with the water, despite being 13 kilometers plus away from any enemy. This makes it almost impossible to dodge the shell fire that is continuously damaging your ship. Adding to the problems, they will constantly kill snipe from players, leaving the player with lower rewards despite doing all the damage. Which is more of an issue with that system, but regardless is still frustrating. Furthermore, they will use their main batteries as AA, sniping planes from across the map with insane accuracy, making any form of aerial support or combat null and void. Not that I'm fully complaining about that, but I do wish that my anti-aircraft batteries had some use, even if the arcade aiming changes removed my ability to tell them which target to focus. Basically put, the majority of the changes from and since Hornet Sting have been massively detrimental to the naval game modes. Other than the shell velocity changes, the ship additions, and maybe the hull damage changes, I think most players would appreciate a complete reversion to what existed previously. I know many blue water players would prefer this, and from what I hear the coastal player base is practically begging for it at this point. Let me know what you guys think, are the issues facing this mode, and do you think Gaijin will fix them? I'll be interested to read the comments on this. Remember to vote in my poll to pick my next naval line, and good luck out there. I'll see you in the next one.